Hi everyone, it's Matt from Greatness Every Day, and in today's Tech Tuesday video, I want to share with you a really neat feature that has been released in the latest iOS update called Screen Time. And what Screen Time does is it allows you to track how you use your device. And for me, it's been a really good thing to kind of look at how I use my device, and, and it gives me some data that supports whether I use my device in the way that I control my device, or maybe I'm on my device way too much and my device controls me. And we definitely want it to be uh, the one in control of that because it allows us to do so many things. It allows us to increase our productivity, increase our networking opportunities, increase our creativity. Um, so make sure that you control your device and it doesn't control you. So let's get started by going down and what I'm gonna do is in my settings, I'm gonna select that and I'm going to scroll down to where it says screen time here in the middle and I'm gonna select the screen time app and you're gonna see that the first bit of information it shows you is a quick general overview. It says today is five o'clock p.m. Um, so I was at work all day and I got home and then it's just making this video now around supper time. Um, you see it's my iPhone. I will say that this screen time feature is done through the iOS cloud. So it's done through uh, your account, whether I use my um, iPad or I use my iPhone, it tracks the same amount of information and it gives me a quick general overview. I've been using my phone today for one hour, 13 minutes. It says 35 minutes of that has been for social networking, six minutes of that has been for productivity, and one minute of that has been for creativity. And if you're looking uh, kind of at what I do with greatness every day in terms of I have a YouTube channel, I have an Instagram account and a podcast, well, that makes sense that most of my time when I've been using my device today has been for social networking. Um, I want to talk first about the screen time stuff. So I'm just gonna tap in that. And this is the first time I've really kind of dove into the background of the feature. So I'm excited to see what it tells you. It tells you my phone, tells you the time. It breaks down a little bit further how I use uh, the social networking features um, in terms of what apps I use, productivity and creativity. And then down below it says the most used apps. So Instagram for me, I spent 20 minutes on Instagram. If it's five o'clock now um, and I woke up at six, I would say that 20 minutes on Instagram, yeah, it's not bad. Um, Facebook has been 10 minutes. Um, I've been fooling around in the settings and uh, notes. I did some writing today and then YouTube. I've spent very little time on today. Usually that one is more because I'm responding to comments um, on our YouTube channel. Um, today's been a pretty quiet day. I just haven't had time to do that yet. You can also touch the uh, show categories button in the top right and it will break it down for you a little bit further in terms of social networking, productivity, creativity, entertainment, etc. So I like to see which apps I use specifically and I mean if there's some apps there that I find distracting then I'm going to take into note that I need to really kind of govern my time with that. So then down below you can see that it has pickups. Um, so basically, how many times do you pick up your phone? And right now it's saying um, I've had 24 total pickups, uh, an average of one time per hour. And the most pickups I've had six between the hours of 7 to 8 a.m. And that makes sense uh, by the time I'm in the morning, uh, getting ready, eating my breakfast, showering, um, doing all that stuff kind of in and out, brushing my teeth. Well, it makes sense. I'm going to be picking my phone up putting it down quite a bit during that. Notifications, this one's interesting for me. Um, so I've had 26 notifications and it says on average about two per hour. Instagram is the app that I get the most notifications for and that makes sense if somebody uh, comments on a video, I'll get a notification or such. Uh, YouTube as well um, and some other ones. So nothing kind of like super overwhelming there. But if I did find that I had too many uh, notifications on Instagram, maybe what I'd go through and do it, uh, I would turn my notifications off. Um, you're the type of person that if you see a notification, uh, you just have to go stop what you're doing, pick up your phone and uh, kind of let it consume you, then I would be aware of that. I'd say this is some data that supports that. I need to do something different here to kind of correct that behavior so I can be more productive and be more creative. Uh, so. Uh, what I'm going to do is scroll up to the top and I noticed here it before it says last seven days. So now we're looking at things uh, in a whole week and this is interesting to see, but if I look at screen time, an hour and six minutes per day, which to be honest is pretty surprising. Total numbers, um, I spent three hours 
and 26 minutes on social networking. I've spent productivity about an hour and five minutes and creativity 43 minutes. And I should say that those category breaks downs um, come from where the app uh, would be uh, found on the app store. So basically I have something like Instagram, social networking obviously, but something like uh, the Focus Keeper app that I use um, is found in the productivity section of the app store and so that's why it would fall in productivity. I've got a video of that app, it's a really neat app and at the same time it allows you to do what's called the Pomodoro techniques or the Pomodoro method and uh, really kind of get a lot of stuff done and stay super focused. I like that app. Check that video out if you want to and then it breaks it down a little bit more uh, in terms of the weekly total kind of what apps you've used and how many, uh, how much time you've used them over the course of that time period, notifications and such. So uh, that's a little bit about the app screen time. If we go back into the original first page, you're gonna notice that there's a few options here. It says downtime, schedule time away from the screen, uh, app limits, set time limits for apps, allow, always allowed, choose apps you want at all times and content privacy, restrictions, you might be able to block certain apps or uh, I know that I was reading parents will be able to block certain apps for their kids and such. Um, share this across all devices. You have the option, shouldn't have done that, to share the screen time feature across your uh, iOS cloud devices. I'm going to turn that off. I really only use my phone anyway. Set up screen time for family and a few other options there. What I'm going to say is downtime app limits are probably the two that I'd be most interested in if I'm kind of looking at how I use my time in the day to day. So downtime, schedule time away from the screen. If you're to select that, set a schedule for time away from the screen. During downtime, only apps that you choose to allow and phone calls will be available. So if I went in, selected this and I had a certain time range, um, I'd be able to kind of control the apps that I use and get any phone calls in or out. Um, that would be important for me. I'm gonna not select that. What I am interested in though, if I am the type of person that just says, oh, I spend too much time on YouTube, I wanna make sure that I can control how much time uh, I'm on that app for, I'm gonna go into app limits, where it says set time limits for apps, and I'm going to set daily time limits for app categories you want to manage. App limits reset every day at midnight, which is a really good feature. Uh, if I go in here and social networking, slash entertainment, so YouTube falls under the entertainment feature here. So maybe I could go in here, select entertainment, click add, and if I wanted to limit how much I watched on YouTube or use the YouTube app, maybe I only wanna spend uh, one hour watching this. And maybe my days, I wanna say Monday, Tuesday, but on the weekend. So let's say during the weeks, I want to only kind of limit um, what I should do is here say an upwards of eight hours on the weekends. So basically what's done now is I customize when I can use uh, my limits. So customized days, one hour every single day maximum throughout the week. Uh, on Sunday and Saturday, I just said eight hours because I'm not gonna be doing more than that. Um, but basically that's how you'd set a time limit for the different apps. So. Uh, basically, there's the screen time app in a quick overview. I hope that this video will help you kind of look at how you use your time and really kind of if you control how you use your device or if your device controls you. If you have any other Tech Tuesday video ideas, I want to hear from you. So let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram for daily inspiration and encouragement to live a great life. You can also visit our website at www.greatnesseveryday.online. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.